Stepping off their school buses, these kids from across the mid-state are, are stepping into nature's classroom will me, for a walk on the wild side. This is a special day for the boys and girls and their teachers. A day to get outside, sponsored by Project WET, or Water Education for Teachers. We teach them activities they can do to teach the children in kindergarten through 12th grade about pollution prevention, about environmental stewardship, and about water quality issues. A great place to do that is this former water treatment plant, now known as the Discovery Center. A lot of people don't know that this is here in Middle Tennessee, and so they're just fascinated. And they always ask questions about, you know, do we have alligators? <laughs> no gators here, but animals that are just as exciting to kids who rarely see them. A lot of them have never uh, had a chance to see a turtle up close, and so they get really excited about it, and they can go home and learn more about it. As well as other animals found in Tennessee, from one of the forest's mysterious creatures. He's an eastern screech owl, one of the smallest in Tennessee. To a slithery snake. Did you think it was going to feel slimy? Yeah! To a colorful caterpillar's amazing transformation from a green gold chrysalis to a beautiful butterfly. Nature's wonders are on exhibit up close. Oh my goodness, you got a lot of algae. Excited children hop from one man-made lily pad to another, exploring aquatic life. Got one, got one, got one. Eight-year-old Melanie Fregoso scooped up a tiny mosquito fish. Uh, it was fun, but it was hard because there was like tons of them and it hardly almost escaped. You have to look carefully at the rocks. If you don't look closely, you might miss something. A day in nature wouldn't be complete without exploring nearby Murphy Springs. If you're flipping these rocks and you look and you see this, what looks like jelly, what, is that, what does that look like to you? Yeah. It is jelly. Like jelly. These are snail eggs. Oh, I found eggs! A magical moment of learning, even for their teacher. I mean, as a teacher, um, I believe that you can tell kids, you can even have them talk about it or read about different things in science, but there's really no experience, no substitute for the, you know, to have hands-on experience and just to discover themselves. I believe you learn by doing. Look for the turtles down there again. You see the turtles down there? Yeah, there's one. Where? Yeah, yeah. did you see it? On the boardwalk above the wetland, homeschool teacher Rosemary Williams is just as excited as her children. To be able to discover and see animals on hand and to discover what a beaver den looks like and see that helps educate as well as get them ready for what they want to do once they leave homeschool. It's fun. The wetland is a world of wonder. Home to wildlife most of these kids just see in books or on TV. Because I like the animals around. I get to see them and it's really exciting like um, there they are, there they are. When you see them, you're like, there's one, there's one. And, and when you get to look at them, it's like, I see it. Animals that most of us take for granted are objects of fascination to the young, like ducks, a dragonfly, or even a frog. They can swim and they hop around, and it's like they're superheroes because it's like they can fly when they hop. Maybe, just maybe, this day of having fun and learning about nature will help Jonah and his generation recognize the importance of protecting our natural world. After all, their decisions in the future uh, that are relevant to the environment are gonna affect everybody that has to live on the planet. I'm Alan Griggs on Tennessee's Wild Side. <laughs>